Yeah, we talk we talk about all these different sects of Christianity, and I, I totally agree with you in terms of very culty. When we go back to the original context, what did the apostles and the disciples understand but about the salvation? Problem. See, they the whatever they wrote, the same Bible is given to all these different denominations, and they have different opinions on what is required for salvation, which is the most fundamental message. So if, if the Bible cannot make it clear enough for all of those denominations to know at least what's best for salvation, that's a problem. I don't care about like, is slavery good or bad? Or, you know, can I have mixed fabrics? Like that stuff's, we're just talking about just salvation, the resurrection. Yeah. Just tell me, there's not any more basic argument than that. If they can't agree, I mean, they should be 99%. I mean, I don't consider Mormons Christian. I don't consider Jehovah's Witnesses in the same class. But when you talk about, you know, Pentecostals, Baptists, Catholics, you know, Methodists, um, even Lutherans and Calvinists, they should be able to come to the same conclusion reading the same book, but they don't. So why do you think they ought to be able to come to the same conclusion? Because so, if the book came from a deity mm -hmm. and it is intended for us to understand it, then that should be the outcome. If this God is omnipotent and all love it, if he can do anything, if he loves us, then he would give us a book in a form that we could at least understand that part of the message. Like that's that's the bare minimum to be able to be saved. So if I like let's say let's say I am a Catholic and I believe that baptism is required for um, salvation, and I'm right, and you are a Lutheran, I don't know what Lutherans. But you are a denomination that does not practice baptism. They don't get along with Jews <laughs> or Catholics. <laughs> yeah, they don't. They don't. So but, no, they don't get along with Catholics. I don't think. Yeah, Catholic. Well, that's the, the, the Martin Luther was the one that pegged onto the Catholic Church to lead the Catholic Church and, and start the Protestant yeah, so, religion. Yeah, they. So go. they don't get along with Catholics very well. You you have claimed to be God before. Yes. So it's a claim I still defend. So okay. So since you are God. Yes. Okay, little g for the audience. Since you are God, how would you convey to humanity um, the truth of the message to where it could be clearly understood and never, ever, ever taken out of context sure. with free will intact? Sure, okay. There, you would have the ability to read the book and whenever you so read- you, So as God, you would still use a book? I would, no, probably not, but okay, you, you would, would you be use? able to read a tablet. Okay. And you wouldn't actually have to read it. It would just, un you just understand it by looking at it. Then, and then you can choose to accept that message or not. So how how would you be able to just understand it by looking at it I without reading anything. it? I can do anything. So you, you can do all that power can do within omnipotence. So what that which is logically possible. It's logically possible that I can input it's, information so into your Is it your logically brain? possible that you can look at one page of a book and know the entire book? Yeah, I can input it into your brain. It's just electrical signals. I just input it into your brain. But how do you? How 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 then do I test? So let's say I'm the atheist to sure. your 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 well, lordship. Sure. I also will have an office, and you can make an appointment, and you can come and meet with me if you have questions. And I'll answer the questions for you. Okay, but what if I choose by my own free will? I don't want to go to your office. That's fine. So then you have just, so now I'm making my own opinions. Yes. I'm not going to your office. Yes. I'm not, I, I, I have the information downloaded, but I don't understand it. Well, well how do you so not now we're You do understand it. Now, now you're you're no better of a god no, than no, the no. god that you claim No, no, no. How do you not is. understand it? Huh? If I, I have to go to your office to make an appointment, obviously I'm confused somewhere. Well, no, we do video appointments too. Well, if I have to make an appointment, there's a point where I am saying, here's well, you, something I don't understand. You asked. My Lord Jeff, I asked, need to make an appointment. Well, you made a hypothetical that you didn't understand something, but I go back to my first thing. If you, well, when you get the tablet, you just, you understand. It. And it's not like a really long list of stuff. It's only like a few things. Okay, so like what? Um, like I'm God, that I created the universe. So what? what is what is the evidence for me as an atheist you that you're God? You won't need evidence, you will just input it into your head. So, then anyone can say it's wrong. No, they can't. Yep. Anybody... So then you're taking their free will. No, 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 because I can continue their free will. Because I'm omnipotent. 
So if I'm an atheist and you input it into my brain and I'm just like, but what's the evidence of your existence? I don't want to make a video sure. chat and I don't want to go to the office. Sure. And it's just, it's, it's inputted into my brain. I can say, I can look at um, then you your, can, your faithful follower over sure. there. Then you can live your life <laughs> and when you die, you'll come to heaven and you get, you have to go through a, a different line to get into heaven. You still get into heaven, but you go through a different line. Okay. So within this different line. Yes. Okay. How do I how do I know how to get to heaven? No, no, you, we take you to heaven after you die. You're so, just gonna be transported. Okay, so you would just take every every single person to heaven. I mean why wouldn't I? Because rejection. Why would I reject somebody if it's one of my creation? I wouldn't reject my creation. Why? Because they my creation. I created them. I love them. Okay, so if you have, and sorry if I get graphic here, let, let's just go to a, a thought of a thought sure. experiment. So, like Jeffrey Dahmer. Sure. Yes. So, would you would you, you would let him into heaven? He would just have to go through a different line. He would have to go through a different line, and then there would be a process of reconditioning. Okay. So there's so you would you would still let Jeffrey Dahmer into oh, heaven? Absolutely. Then? Yeah. Okay. So he would be punished, but not for infinity. He would have to go through a process. So, for example, my punishment to Hitler, which is currently being held out, yeah. he gets ten thousand years of hard labor. Ten thousand years of hard labor. Yes, okay. And, and then he can go. So, he, he do you think heaven. ten thousand years of hard labor absolves him of the crimes that he committed against the Jews? Yes. Why? Because it's payback and understanding and reconciliation. But how do you know? What if he doesn't change within those ten thousand years well, of hard that's labor? Part, that's part of the reconciliation part of it. He will be reconditioned. Okay, but what if he's not reconditioned? Well, that's a what if. It's not happening. What, what if the reconditioning doesn't work? No, it'll work. It's okay. never failed. So then you take his free will. Well, do we have free will in heaven? <laughs> I would say yes. Okay, so I can leave heaven? I would say no. Can I sin in heaven? No. Then how do I have free will? In the same way you have free will now. But I can, you're telling me I cannot sin in heaven. 